Here is Johnny Bam Bam Baldrin. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black, gold, and red trunks. He weighed in at 137 pounds. Also making his professional debut this evening, representing Canino's Boxing and Karate from Hollywood, Florida, here is Johnsey, the kickboxer Lindor. Hi, gentlemen, you've been given your instructions in the locker room. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Any questions? Touch them up, back to the corner, wait for the bell. Johnny Baldridge in the blue trunks. You see right there, John C., the kickboxer Lindor. This is going to be an intense fight. You can see the intensity and concentration of John C. Lindor. I love to watch him in action. It's amazing with his leg kicks. Watch. Baldridge only 5'4", 135 pounds. Very solid. And these guys are solid in shape for the size and the weight. Good right hand by Baldridge. Baldridge is more boxer. Stock here one. Can stand more sideways. You can see that he's not trying to give too much of the body shot. Whoa, and, and going down. Beautiful spinning backhand. It's Baldridge. Beautiful spinning backhand. John C. Lindor with the honors. My goodness. As I said earlier that the confidence level that John C. Lindor has is a whole different world because he took his time, fought for many years as an amateur fighter to build his experience. Watch, he's going to go upstairs anytime soon. That's it, right there. That's Big it. kick by Johnson. Excellent, excellent. Good left hand by Lindor as well. Builder has dropped his hands a lot, and that's not a good sign. Good kick by Builder. You can see the mark on uh, Bilger's front leg, the right leg. Look at the right leg, it's redness on top of the leg. You're wearing down the muscle, it will cramp up and it will buckle after a while. Look at that. Look at the leg kick. He delivered with his shin bone. Those shin bones are harder than a metal pole or a baseball bat. You swing it around the front leg. It's a whole different world, the condition. Their shin is strong. You don't see these guys' shin breaks because they have a strong shin. Lindor with the big combinations continues to land with the punches. Baldridge had to back up. You can't get all of that leg kicks. He, he, he's, gonna, he's not going to be a walk for a few days. And that is the end of round one. Lindor putting Baldridge down with the vicious backhand. And you can see that right leg. is swallowing up. Baldridge. Yep. I would like to see the spinning backhand. That was a nice setup. And again, he's a Baldridge dropping hands down too much sideways. Look at that. As I said, his hands is down, and he's setting himself up for a spinning backhand. And this is from another angle. John C. Lindor has a big future, and he's going to be icon in Shindukumi to strikers. He's going to be the one that be a face and a brand for our product. You have to build a next generation athlete, next fighters.
So in round one, John C. Lindor connects with the backhand and also was very effective with his kicks. Living up to his nickname, the kickboxer. Yeah, he keep working those leg kicks. You see the sounds on those kicks? Those are using the bone into your thighs. Another backhand. And a big kick and down goes. Baldridge again. It's a whole different class. Whole different class. But again, give it to Johnny Baldridge. You know, he, he's fighting and bringing spirit. For a guy that is doing a debut, he's doing an amazing job. Good right hand. And That's inside kicks. That's Baldrige. inside kicks. You can see his leg is all black and bruised and red. It's an inside kick. I don't think that was a groin shot. I think that's inside kick. Look at his legs. If camera can get a better angle on his legs, you can see the redness. Especially the hamstring. Look at, the Look at that. Yeah. That's Already. what Muay Thai is all about. That's what a striker is all about. It's lick kicks. Look at that. Already starting to bruise up. He can't put weight on it. He's done, pretty much. He's resting because he wants. So Baldry's going down, claiming that he was hit in the groin. And Lindor coming back very aggressively. Baldridge has been down twice, once in the first and once here in the second. Jonesy Lindor doing a great job. He's throwing the kicks and then finish it with a punch to measure these techniques. Move the ropes, work on the ropes. Big kick and once again, Baldridge is going down. That's not a groin shot, that's a lick kicks. That's a lick kicks. That's a lick kick, that's not a groin shot. It's, it's tough for a referee sometimes call that because the way the kicks comes across your, both of the legs top of your thighs, and you think it's gonna hit the groin, but it doesn't. And it makes your legs cramp, you fall down. Both legs very red for Baldrige. And the groin shot there, and they're going to penalize. I gotta see the replay on those groin Lindor's. shot. Maybe this Lindor. one was a, barely his toes touched the groin, but the other one was not a groin shot. If you watch the replay, it was across the legs. Between rounds, we will take a look and see if those are indeed one shots. I guess he's got to go upstairs. I got to go upstairs. They I call that a slip. Yeah. Big kick by Baldrige. Yep, big kick Trying to the head. Rally. Now he's fighting. And Lindor coming back with his own leg kick. He's a leg kicker. That's my kind of guy, because that's what I love to do, leg kicks. Take the legs out. Good left hand by Lindor. I wish he would have said that now he's going. That's what I was going to say. You know, a couple of leg kicks and go upstairs. Look at this. Look at Bulger's leg. Good yeah. combination by Lindor. Look at his legs. Hands up. Hands up. 
you need to get a nice angle shot on the front legs. Look at that. The backhand by Lindor. You can see the redness. And when it looks that red on camera, you can only imagine how red it looks in person. <laughs> imagine the feeling he's going to get tomorrow and Monday. So Baldridge taking damage. So let's look at this. Damage. Let's look at this. It was a groin shot. Yeah, that's just a nice kick to the head. I think he can finish this fight and go more upstairs to the head. Yeah, that was an inside kick right above the, the Muay Thai shorts. It was not a groin shot. Look at that. It was inside. You see that? You don't see a groin shot. Yep, inside shot. Inside legs. It hurts bad. So round number three. Baldridge has been down twice. One in each round. Work those legs. He's going to skin him by the time he's done. And again... Baldridge, you got to give it to Baldridge. You know, he has a lot of spirit to withstand the pain, the pressure, and to be able to stand on his feet, fight. Those are painful, my friend. The viewers watching this, they need to understand the pain that you go through this. You can see <laughs> on camera that those legs are just red and bruised. Give it to Baldridge, he's coming back to fight. He's sticking with his boxing, going hard to the body and the head. Nice spinning backhand. He put up a great fight. Excellent. Both fighters fighting amazingly. Big left kick by Lindor. Ooh, Another combination. Great combination. It's a bicycle double kick. Bicycle double round kick, go low and high. No groin shot. This is not a groin shot. I would just stick with the outside legs and upstairs to the head. They're calling that a knockdown. So the third time of the fight that Baldridge. Three knockdown rules effective per round, not duration of through three rounds. This is a second knockdown. Those kicks are definitely taking a toll. Look, look at, at the, the back and look, look at the at legs. That. He's got a tight in zoom shot. Tight zoom. Big right hand by Lindor. You got to give it to Bildris for his spirit, for his heart, for his passion, for his dedication. He is giving his heart and soul to fight, and he doesn't give it up. But, you know, there's no reason to go further because he's not really doing nothing. He's just taking the abuse. So the fight comes to an end. Look at the legs, the way it is, the bruise, that's the result. This is not joke, my friend, this is real deal. You want to see real striking, everybody says leg kicks. You know, you watch MMA talking about more striking skills. This is a striking skill. This is a real stand-up fighting. And you can see as the fight continued, the later that it went and the more that Lindor went after that right leg, the more that Baldridge had trouble even moving and standing up. 
That's it. Look at that. These are all inside kick. These are not groin shot. I don't see no groin shot, but it's very hard for a referee sometimes to catch that. came back to fight here, you can see. I mean, you know, we're gonna understand, you know, Bilgers is, doesn't have a big amateur career and he's, this is pro debut and he fought really well. He was very strong, he stand there. Uh, these kids can, can have a good future by some good Muay Thai training. He can go places. A bruising fight for Johnny Baldrige. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a great round of applause for both fighters, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the Bradenton Area Convention Center in Bradenton, Florida, your referee in charge, Josh Rutgers, calls a halt to the bout at 2 minutes, 34 seconds of the third round. Your winner by TKO, John C. The kickboxer, Lindor. C. Lindor, you get the win by TKO. Very systematic performance. I mean, the, the punches precise, the kicks precise. No wasted effort. I mean, you look really relaxed out there for such a young fighter. Well, I'm not really that young. I got a lot of experience, you know, so about like 45, 50, 45 kicks. As an amateur, right? As an amateur. This is my second pro fight. But you know, them low kicks and knockouts, that's what everybody likes. Well, they certainly like what they were seeing tonight. Going for the legs seemed to be the strategy the whole night. I mean, I kept hearing one of your coaches, uh, Canino, saying, oh, you get that inside leg, inside leg. You targeted that all night, didn't you? Yeah, you take out the legs, you take out the hands, you take out the hands, you take out the head. <laughs> and of course, that, that spinning uh, back fist in the first round, that was pretty special, too. Well, I was hoping he stayed down, but hey. He was tough, wasn't he? He kept coming back. Yeah, he was tough. 135, that's my division. Talk about, though, when you get back to the gym, what do you want to work on the most? Well, let's keep the same thing, just be more sharper, that's it. Next opponent, and see what happens. And of course, you've got uh, some great coaching there at Canino's uh, Karate and Boxing down there in Hollywood. I'm sure you want to give a shout out to your crew. Yeah, shout out to my coach, Bonnie Canino, Yvonne Reese, he's just Amari, my girlfriend, and my mom, brother, sister, Everybody that came out and supported me, thank you. Great win, hope to see you back again at Shindo Kumite, John C. Thank you, I'll be back. All right, John C. Lindor with a TKO win in round number three. John C. Lindor, very impressive. And again, if you saw the hamstring area of Baldridge, he was in a whole lot of pain, and for good reason. He's a great fighter, and he's got a big future in Shinda Kumite. More fighting coming up from the Bradenton area convention center right after this.